Welcome. Don't adjust your dial. Welcome everyone to the Low Fi Poly Side Podcast. I'm your host, Michael Pickering. That's right, Low Fi is in low fidelity, low quality, in your face, messy as can be, global news show. And here we're going to talk about that famous question What's going on in the world today? It's Thursday. Time for that Low Fi Global News, fresh off that press. Coming at us from the world of Reuters Russian prison services say it will seek Kremlin critic Navalny's arrest. Now, who would have guessed this? Navalny the main pro-democracy and opposition politician to President Putin. Navalny, the politician falsely charged and convicted of felonies, so he couldn't run for president. Navalny, the man Russia poisoned, allegedly, and was flown to Germany for care. And now, Navalny, going back to Russia, will be arrested and put in jail for three and a half years for missing his meetings with prison services on a previous suspended jail term. Geez, Russia, why not be just a little more subtle about how you really feel about this guy? We'll keep you updated as we know more over the weekend, peeps. Next up, another one from Reuters, but not just another story. Judges seek recusal as major Italian mafia trial kicks off. Ooh, that's right, big news here, because 330 suspected mafia members are going on the trial this week in Italy. And wouldn't you know, right at the beginning of the trial... The three judges for the trial recuse themselves and say, Nope, not me. I'm out of here. Oh, this is the beginning of a story we'll most definitely keep up with as it progresses. The background I won't go into just yet, but keep your eyes open and ears to the ground. Lots going down with the Italian mafia in the courts this week and month. Now, moving forward because we never move on from anything. Source, the international section of the AP. Estonia's PM resigns over corruption scandal in his party. Oh, the messiness continues today. It's almost like Messy Monday on a Thursday. And Estonia, one of the freest countries in the world and strongest democracies. Well, their prime minister stepping down over corruption charges and bribery, dealing with a French real estate company. Estonia has a parliamentary system, you see, and a true multi-party system. I don't just mean two parties, I mean five and six and more. Right now, three political parties form the coalition for the ruling government. But because of these events... That coalition has to step down and a new government has to be formed. Now, this doesn't mean new elections will take place just yet. We'll have to wait and see. If a new coalition can be formed, then no elections. But if not, it'll be interesting. But we're going to follow up this story and see because this represents a really interesting and unique play-by-play demonstration of how different forms of democracies work today. So it's going to be an interesting ride. Stay around for sure, people. And our following story, we go back to the world of Reuters. Ugandans choose between longtime leader and pop star politician. Yesterday we told you the internet was turned off in the country and the main opposition leader was out of sight. Today the election took place, and now the ballots are being counted. The two main candidates, opposition candidate Bobby Wine, a singer turned politician, pushing for change in the country. The incumbent president, running for re-election, President Museveni, a 70-60-year-old president, who believes he still has more to offer the country, because in the past 35 years as president, he didn't have enough time. Wait, 35 years as president? Damn! If you can't get your agenda done in 35 years as president, I'm not sure you'll ever get it done. We'll let you know how this election turns out over the weekend. Hopefully we'll find out by Saturday, people. And a last piece of news to send you on your way for the day, the Asia section of the BBC. Rap Against Dictatorship. The Rappers Taking on Thailand's Leader. Oh, we've talked about this group before, and we're saying, you need to check them out again. Watch the 3 minute 45 second video attached to this article, it's so worth it. One of the lead rappers of the group faces sedition charges for their music and lyrics, and could potentially serve 7 years in prison. For music, YouTube had to take down their latest song due to the Thai government, and the BBC couldn't even publish all of their lyrics to the songs because of Thailand's strict laws. And to that we say, Rap Against Dictatorship. Keep rapping. Your music and your message matter. We're with you. And that's a brief snapshot of what's going on in the world today. Stay tuned for tomorrow's episode of Good News Friday. Always remember that Lo-Fi Poly Sci is more than just me. It's the we that we be. Write in with questions or comments to Lo-Fi Poly Sci at planetmail.com. Thanks for listening. Stay safe. Wash those hands. And I'll see you on the next episode of the Lo-Fi Poly Sci Podcast. Pickering, signing off.